Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This is another Theta Update video, and if you like this content, please like and subscribe to the channel. It does mean a lot. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Theta wallet to the Ethereum blockchain via MetaMask. There's a couple background articles we'll go over first. Theta put out some good information for everyone to know, and then I will show you step-by-step -step how to do it. It is pretty quick and easy, so this will be a quick video, guys. So first and foremost, there is this Medium article, Theta blockchain now compatible with Ethereum RPC API suite, MetaMask, and development tools, Shuffle, Hardhat, and Remix. So I won't go into most of it. The main thing I want to focus on is MetaMask. So Theta's vision for 2021 and beyond includes vastly expanded compatibility with Ethereum, allowing any Ethereum or ETH compatible applications to be ported over seamlessly and run on the Theta blockchain. Now, so recently there was an implementation of Theta 3.1.0 and that was the catalyst that enabled us to do all this. So a little bit of background behind that. To make a blockchain successful, you need developers. As much as the Theta team could develop everything on the blockchain and the ecosystem for Theta, it just would not be a very successful ecosystem because you need a lot of developers to continue developing third-party applications, kind of like the Apple App Store. There's some things that's built by Apple, and then everything else is those third-party applications. That's why this is so important to integrate with Ethereum. And we will be checking out MetaMask. So if you select that, it'll bring you to the Theta Docs. And this is the step-by-step -step guide, which I will link in the description below on how to integrate your uh, Theta wallet to MetaMask. So first and foremost, you need MetaMask. And I did create a video on how to make a MetaMask. Um, I will link that in the top right. And once you have your MetaMask, then you can select the icon and it'll bring up the MetaMask account. From there, you can do the expanded view, which will bring up its own individual page. So this makes it a whole lot easier to um, interact with, especially when you're adding things. I would split the screen, but it's just a little bit of a headache right now. So in order to add um, the Theta wallet, you have to go to select the top and then custom RPC. All right, from here, we're going to insert all this data. So the network name, the new RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol, and block explorer URL. All that data is located in this data docs guide, and it's all listed right here. So we'll just copy and paste this line by line for the network name, and then the RPC URL, the chain ID, currency symbol and the blockchain explorer and then we will select save and it's just that easy now in the top right you should see theta mainnet and you are able to send and receive t fuel tokens uh, and TNT 20 tokens. Theta tokens are not supported at this time, but TFuel and TNT 20 tokens are supported. So that is step one into bridging Theta into the Ethereum ecosystem. The next step is the meter passport, which will launch here soon. And I'll just go over this a little bit while I have you. So this will integrate Theta into uh, not only Ethereum, but also uh, Binance Smart Chain, Avalanche, and Meter. And the benefit to this is that um, after you send tokens over, they will become wrapped ERC-20 tokens. So if we're sending from Theta to the Ethereum ecosystem, they are wrapped ERC-20 tokens. And what I mean by that is right now we're sending a TNT-20 token from the Theta blockchain uh, to MetaMask. So if we were trying to interact with the Ethereum ecosystem, they wouldn't quite compute because one is a TNT 20 
coin or token and the other is an ERC20 token and those don't quite talk. However, with this medium passport, whenever it is unveiled and enrolled, um, the T fuel token will be a ERC20 token. Um, so it will be able to communicate with Uniswap and other DeFi protocols on the Ethereum blockchain. So that is a benefit to this next step that will come out here soon. But in summary, guys, that is how you add the Theta mainnet to the MetaMask web wallet extension. And if you like this content, once again, please like, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next one.